with that, we will jump over. We, we are going to stay in the extended reality um, universe or metaverse, I should say, um, but jump to a very different topic, um, going from medicine to sports. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Brandon Furr with X-Reps. Hi, everyone. Brandon Furr. I'm the CEO and co-founder of X-Reps, and we've developed a platform for quarterback training and evaluation. And really, when you look at, at quarterbacks, there's really three main problems that we believe we are solving with our technology. One, there's really not enough reps to go around, especially for backup quarterbacks and young developing players. There's a lack of opportunity for youth, especially uh, depending on where they live or grew up and their parents' financial situations. And as of yet, there's really no holy grail to evaluate a quarterback effectively. Uh, and what we've built is essentially uh, Madden football, but for training and evaluation. So our team, our founding team, consists of a mix of uh, startup technology experience and then software development experience across both traditional and XR applications. Uh, we've also built an advisory board consisting of a former pro football player from the Kansas City Chiefs, Tyler Palco, uh, Brad Frazier, who is a former quarterback uh, coach and also has owned a quarterback camp in Dallas, Texas for 15 years. And then we brought on a PhD from the University of Louisville, uh, whose PhD research focused on the application of VR to improve um, educational and cognitive retention. So at the, a high level, uh, what we're looking to do is solve the quarterback problem, which uh, eloquently stated by Malcolm Gladwell was you just don't know how certain people are going to perform in certain jobs. Uh, until they actually do that job after they're hired. Uh, if you go back to the 2017 NFL draft, I think the Bears would probably make a different decision on drafting Mitch Trubisky ahead of Patrick Mahomes, showing that there still really isn't that magic formula to evaluate a quarterback successfully. Uh, then going into additional quarterback problems, especially related to COVID, uh, a lot of conferences were shut down last year. A lot of teams lost development time with their new players. Um, and a lot of high school players lost seasons. Uh, colleges were unable to evaluate talent appropriately and kids were being forced mm -hmm. to go to private coaches. Uh, this type of platform will enable uh, kids in a future pandemic to train at home safely. So when you look at the available technology out there up until now, there's really been three main ways it's done. Uh, throwing out a practice net, there's been these laggy, really expensive camera systems that can track people throwing a football, but they're really yeah. better suited for gaming. And then there's been 360 degree video review, which yeah. is pro and college level successfully. Yeah. But at that stage, it's really just advanced film review. It's not an interactive rep. And we believe that we can take it up to a full um, interactive physical rep, which will improve retention up to closer to the 90% level yeah. of learning. So that's where the X-Reps Jill, you better not talk. Sassy backer. That's where the X-Reps platform comes in. We've developed something you can actually get meaningful reps with no team or organized practice required. Um, and it's available for both standalone headsets, such as the Oculus Quest 2, and then also gaming PCs with a patent-pending throwable smart football that we've developed. Uh, our first product launch is going to be an early access version, software only, for the Oculus Quest this December. Uh, and that will be a useful training tool because 90% of football is mental. The uh, quarterback one elite product with our throwable football, uh, we are only doing strategic early pilots right now because we have to hand make the balls. Um, it's going to take a lot more capital to make those at any time of uh, mass quantity. So the uh, uh, quarterback one elite product with the throwable ball, we can actually measure uh, measure. Uh, spin rate, velocity, angle off that ball, all in relation to a target, which is very useful for the evaluation by coaches uh, at the uh, collegiate and pro levels. Uh, the play area. Jill, we've uh, briefed this. No talking. Not allowed. The play area uh, is defined by either a net, if you're using our smart football product, or with the Oculus Quest, you just spray paint an area on the ground, um, and that is your play area. We have different experiences from a practice facility to a stadium, and then also a game mode um, that's included with our application. And the inclusion of the game mode is there because we're gonna sell the app on the Oculus Store. Um, everybody gets that game mode, and then there's gonna be exposure to our drills via trial. 
Um, the drills uh, mode will actually be available via subscription. So that's how we're going to introduce recurring revenue into the platform. Uh, we'll have base drills available that we've developed in conjunction with the University of Louisville football team um, that are gonna help improve decision-making and reaction times. Um, and then we also, um, down the road, are gonna be incorporating real play data. So we have integrated um, next-gen staff already and proved we can power real plays based on that data. There's also a lot of analytical possibilities with this platform where you can measure the head, arm, and feet of the quarterback measuring things while they're practicing alone that were previously impossible. Um, and the use cases vary from home use all the way up to the professional athlete and entertainment um, possibilities as well and family entertainment centers like Dave and Buster's and main events. So uh, when you look at the market, football is America's most popular sport. 120 million of football, of the uh, football fans play video games according to research from the NFL. And we believe we're set up to capture everything from the home enthusiasts all the way up to the pro athlete uh, between our game mode and our training mode. In terms of assistance we need from the KC community, we'd love for you to follow us on social media. Uh, we'll be announcing our soft launch, our early access launch in December. Um, if you don't have an Oculus Quest 2, go out and get one um, and you'll be able to try this out um, and let your family and friends that are uh, football fans know that we are uh, getting ready to hit the market. Um, if anybody has seed uh, fundraising connections with people that are passionate about football and uh, the intersection of technology and the metaverse, we'd love to talk with them. And uh, if you know Patrick Mahomes even better, we'd like to talk to co-founders. Thank you. Brandon, my apologies too for the interruption. No worries. I, I think whoever's Jill Myers is the one who's making the noise. It, it is, and I keep removing them and they keep popping back. Yeah, it's Jill, someone that's come in second on. Do you want me to open up Wireshark to deal with this asshole? Hey, uh, if gonna, you can hear me. Hey, if, if you I'm can hear me. Hack, myself. Yeah. I'm going to go off and come back on because I don't know what else to do. So um, I'm leaving now, okay? Okay, thanks, Jill. Hey, uh, Mr. Hacker, Mr. Troll, whatever, um, you, you do realize that this is a tech conference and there's people that know more than you do. Uh, I could, within a couple seconds, get your IP Jeff, address. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, so yeah. we'll keep going. I appreciate that, though. So uh, I already got my IT manager on it. <laughs> so this is awesome. <laughs> We've, I've got uh, the literal MacGyver of all MacGyvers in medical device IP route switch. Okay, I appreciate that, John. So. Well, I hope you could hear everything through all of that. Yeah. Yes, we could. <laughs> yes, well, we could. It was a very fascinating, uh, and I'm hoping someone knows Patrick. I do have a question. I do interview. have a question. Okay, so um, so you're using um, uh, uh, the, the Vibe Tracker? Is, it, is this that project? Yeah, our, actually, our first prototype used the Vibe Tracker on a training ball, uh, and we, that's how we proved that the uh, uh, thrown object would work. Um, the next prototype actually took the sensors from that tracker and we drilled holes in a football, 3D printed a sensor housing and uh, manually stuck it in there. Yeah, it, it, so it completely covered the, the, the sensor that you're using, right? Correct. Yeah, I, I sent an email to, um, I can't remember who, which person on your team, uh, like I thought it was the person on your team. It was like, because I, I thought that the vibe tracker would, you know, I was like, oh, they're rockets, but yeah. Um, Another question is, so you're, you're not using Vibe Trackers at this point, though? We haven't decided that yet. We, we got feedback from youth, college, um, and pro quarterbacks. Uh, at the youth level, they think it actually could be useful for youth, um, just because it's more fun throwing a ball. Um, mm. At the college and pro level, they want something that's weighted. It's going to feel real. Uh, so we're still, we're still considering um, keeping the Vibe unit around uh, for certain youth use cases. Hmm. Hey, okay. well, Brandon, thank you. And again, my apologies for the interruptions. And, and hopefully, you know, Ryan, as we turn it over, to, if, if you don't mind, go ahead and stop in your screen yeah, share. Absolutely. So thank you. Ryan Appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. And yeah, please put your contact information in if anybody wants to jump in and, um, you know, connect with you. Um, would love them for to do that. 